Pisces, welcome to your today's love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. And Pisces, please bear in mind that this reading will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay, Pisces, let's get your reading started. Speaks and angels, please to show me and one accurate love message for Pisces today. Okay, so Pisces, I feel like, um, okay, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading, okay? It could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with. I feel like this has something to do with a connection where I feel like it was uh, a serious uh, serious relationship of some of you could have been married to this person or still married to this person, but um, definitely not like, um, I don't think it's a connection or a relationship that just, uh, that's new. I feel like it's it's, well, if it's new, but it's very serious, okay, it's supposed to be a serious relationship here because of the Justice and the Hierophant. However, we've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Swords here. This is an indication of, um, I feel like Pisces, either you or your person could have found out about another person involved in this connection in the past, okay? And through some spying and because of that, because of that, we've got the Four Wands in reverse. This is an indication of a separation and all that uh, there's instability in your uh, connection or in your relationship right now, okay? Justice could also mean justice karma, but I, I also feel like someone may want justice, okay? They feel like they may have been treated unfairly in the past. We've also got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Tower in reverse. I feel like, um, okay, for some of you, not for all of you, okay, there could be some finances involved. Uh, some codependency here, but I feel like because the tower is in reverse, I feel like um, there's this energy of um, someone relying on another person financially, perhaps. There is one breadwinner here, but there's one person who is dependent on the other person financially. Um, and I feel like they're trying, someone is trying to delay the tower moment with the tower in reverse. And Tao moment meaning, you know, destruction or ending, but I feel like this is also because I feel like somebody wants to reconcile here um, or undo the damages that they have done to this connection because they are, they rely on this person in some way, shape or form, okay? That's what I'm sensing. And we've also got the Hierophant here and the Judgment. Ooh. Okay, Pisces, um, somebody did something here in the past, okay? Judgment, something was being kept as a secret or hidden or buried, and then now it has come to light. So I do sense that because of that, someone could be facing their karma, okay? It's like one, two, three cards here, Major Arcana. So big thing, I feel like big change, big transformation and a very serious situation as well. It's not just any relationship, that's for sure. Four Swords is in reverse, and an indication of someone feeling really restless, thinking, planning, strategizing. Judgment could also indicate somebody perhaps wanting to reconcile, okay? Maybe they could have learned their lessons with the Hierophant here. And there are trust issues with the Page of Swords. Trust issues, um, not trusting you or you're not trusting them. Again, roles can be reversed. Eight of Cups is in reverse, so an indication of somebody feeling stuck because the devil is here. So there is something that both of you are connected with or to. Uh, it could be anything. It could be something of value, money. It could be children. It could be anything, okay? but Or if it's not that, it just means that this could be a karmic soul tie so both of you are supposed to learn lessons from each other and it is a connection that I feel that it is very hard to let go of because there is something that ties both of you together you know it could be anything um, like I mentioned something material it could be material things or you know family situation but the devil also is an indication of a negative or toxic and 
um, energy but I feel like this is also obsession I feel a very strong um, it's a very serious energy I feel like whatever you are going through with your person or your person in the past again don't take the time frame too literally because this is a general reading for each and every one of you it may not be exactly the same okay look will fortune is in reverse so this is another major arcana very stuck in this connection like it's really hard to you know release this connection something that is definitely um, both of you are bind um abound to each other for many reasons okay and ten of swords is here this is an indication of an ending or a betrayal um, painful betrayal painful ending this is why even before the ten of swords came out I could already sense this is a very heavy energy like very serious serious decisions need to be made here and also I feel like there are definitely trust issues that could be a third party situation somebody could have lied or cheated maybe bad habits addiction could be anything okay or someone just crazy <laughs> the devil sometimes i feel like this is like a crazy energy you know uh, because it's obsession you know um however you however you you would um, describe crazy for me it's like someone very obsessive or irrational I'm not saying this is you or your person but every time I see the devil I'm like okay this person is crazy <laughs> but I never say I've never said it in any of the readings until now but who knows you could your person could be crazy <laughs> I've got the temperance here um there's crazy good and there's crazy bad but anyway temperance here indicates also look you got a devil and you've got an angel so this could be an opposite you and your person but this could also be someone um feeling conflicted as in you know should i do the right thing or should i just you know be tempted or and do whatever that makes me happy or you know the devil can also be somebody selfish you know very self-serving very manipulative as well the fool is here Pisces I feel like a lot of you are practicing self-love self-care and you really want to do the right thing and perhaps this could either mean that your person may want a want to have a new leap of faith with you or that you yourself you know are liberating from this this connection from this relationship I definitely see somebody um, not being treated fairly here okay and the strength is here could be dealing with a Leo Aries I do see many many signs here doesn't really matter it could be any sign but nine of swords is here I feel like okay so there are two different um, two different energies here one is definitely your person and another one is you so there's one person here stressing out okay really stressing out they can't move on they feel really stuck and they want to reconcile while the other one is you know this is very calm energy here uh, with strength trying to deal with the situation very tactfully and liberating yourself from this person and the temperance here you know gaining balance within yourself spiritually mentally and emotionally but there's a devil here okay so that's one person whom I feel like could be really obsessed over you or you over them. Again, the roles can be reversed. You should know where you stand in this reading. All right, Pisces, um, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Currently, I am accepting personal reading requests. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. Nothing else. Hope to see you tomorrow as I've been posting videos almost every single day lately. Take care, Pisces. Bye.